guys! Welcome again to ITS. So, for today's video, we're going to discuss contiguous memory allocation. So, what is contiguous memory allocation? It is a memory allocation method that allocates a single contiguous section of the memory to a process. So, from the word contiguous, guys, it means it is attached or it is part of the memory. So, to better understand that, let's say ito yung memory. Tapos, meron tayong process 1. I-occupy niya yung part ng memory. Then, meron tayong process 2, another part of the memory. So, kung titignan nyo, it is attached to the main memory. Ibig sabihin, part siya nung main memory. Yun yung ginagamit niya. Then, another part of the main memory. So, we have two types of contiguous memory allocation. Meron tayong tinatawag na fixed size partition and variable size partition. First, let's have the fixed size partition. In fixed size partition, the memory is divided into fixed size block and each block contains exactly one process. So, from the word fixed size, Ibig sabihin, fix na po yung laman niya or yung memory allocation niya. Let's say ito yung memory. So, ang gagawin ni operating system, i-divide niya yung memory into different sizes. So, let's say yan po yung sizes niya. We have 30, 10, 15, 40, and 5. So, KB muna yung pinag-uusapan natin dito guys. Okay? So, let's say, parating si process 1. Meron siyang size na 28KB. So, hahanapin niya ngayon kung saan siya mag-fit. So, si process 1, pwedeng mag-fit dito kay so, memory size na 30. Then, next, we have process 2. We have 35KB. So, hanapin niya ulit kung saan siya kakasya. Kakasya siya dito sa 40KB na memory. Then next, we have process 3. So, titignan nyo kung saan siya magkakasya. Doon sa remaining size, meron tayong 10, 15, and 5. Wala siyang pagkasyahan. So, dahil sa fixed size siya, walang pagkakasyahan si process 3 na merong size na 20KB. Pwede naman sigurong i-add yung magdalawang magkatabi. Hindi po pwede, guys. That is the problem for fixed size partition. So, dito, mayroon tayong tinatawag na fragmentation. So, guys, kung hindi niya alam yung fragmentation in operating system, meron po tayong separate video about that. Ilalagay ko sa description box or dyan sa taas ng screen nyo yung link para mapanood nyo yung about fragmentation. Kung titingnan natin dito na part, meron tayong hindi nagamit na memory. So, another type of fragmentation yun, guys. And same with the process 2. So, siguro iniisip nyo sayang naman, bakit di pa pwedeng i-process si process 3? Meron namang mga bakanteng memory. So, that is one disadvantage of fixed size partition. Another type of contiguous memory allocation is the variable size partition. So, dito illustration na lang ang gagamitin natin guys to better understand kung ano ang variable size partition. So, let's say ito yung memory natin. Then, meron siyang size na 100 KB. Example lang to guys. Okay? So, meron tayong process na 28 KB. So, ang gagawin niya, ilalagay niya yung process dun sa memory. So, ang mangyayari dito guys, kukonsider niya yung first process, meron siyang 28 KB, imaminus niya dun sa total size ni memory. So, meron siyang free size na 72 KB. This free size can be allocated dun sa ibang process na paparating. Okay? So, let's say dumating si process 2, meron siyang size na 35 KB. So, ang i-allocate ni process 2 is yung free size na 72. So, gagamitin niya yung free size, ilalagay dyan si process 2. So, yung 72 minus 35, yun po yung magiging precise ulit. 
So, meron tayo dito 37 na free size. Ibig sabihin, pwede pa yan ibigay dun sa ibang process na paparating. Let's say, meron si process 3. So, kasha pa si process 3, pwede niya pang i-allocate dun sa memory. And dito, magkakaroon na lit tayo ng free size na 17. So, kung dito sa variable size, nagkasya po si process 3. Yun yung kagandahan naman ni variable size. Kasi, wala tayong internal fragmentation tulad nun sa process 1. Walang sobra, walang unused memory. So, at time, let's say natapos nyo nang i-process si P1. Of course, tatanggalin na si P1 dun sa main memory kasi tapos na siyang ma-process. So, kapag natanggal na siya, magiging precise or bakante na yung nilagyan ni P1. So, same. Kapag na-process na si process 2, matatanggal na rin siya. So, yun na po yung pwede i-allocate ulit ng mga next process. Now, let's compare the two partition. Ang gagawin ni variable size as full niyang ilalagay yung main memory and kung may paparating na process, lalagay niya yun Tapos yung sobra, ibabakante niya yun para dun sa mga next process na paparating. While dun sa fixed size, hahatiin niya yung memory into fixed numbers at hindi mo pwedeng pagsamahin or bawasan yung inallocate niya dun na memory. So kung titignan natin dun sa process 1 ulit, meron tayong unused na 2 KB. Dun sa P2, meron siyang unused na 5 KB. Which is, sayang. Hindi mo pwedeng i-allocate o hindi mo pwedeng ibigay dun sa ibang process. So, paano nga ba ina-allocate o nilalagay ang processes sa fixed size partition? If you want to learn the different strategies or algorithms sa pag-allocate ng process in fixed size partition, watch the next video about first fit best fit and worst fit. So, that's it guys. Kung may katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below at sasagutan natin yan isa-isa. Para sa iba pang tutorial videos, just visit this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe at hit ang notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!